Hello everyone, it's me, Herrick Kimball. It's been a long time since I made a video, almost two months, but today I figured I'm gonna make a quick video. I just wanna show you here my Whizbang garden cart, homemade Whizbang garden cart. I sell the plans at planetwhizbang.com. And what I have here is a load of nice pine kindling that I just split up. I was given a very large pallet. Uh, you could tell it was large because this wood the pallet uh, wood pieces were an inch and a quarter thick. So I got a lot of wood out of that, got a lot of kindling, and that's a good job done. But we need to go to the mini bed experimental garden so I can show you the onion beds. My experimental mini bed garden looked great, very presentable, up until the 1st of August, and then I've neglected it. But my wife, Marlene, she's out here every day. She's getting food out of it as weedy as it is. I'm not gonna show you the whole garden because I'm a little embarrassed by it all. But there's food here, and these are onions, nice uh, copra onions that have come out of the mini beds right here. Different sizes, I got some small ones, got some big ones, that's the way it goes. But uh, that's a nice size right there. You know, is that, what is that? Just a little big, bigger than a baseball. Here we got the softball size. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with these. Let's go down the row. I'll show you what one of the beds looks like. And uh, got the uh, harvested beds right here. Come on down to the end. I had eight beds, eight beds of onions. I'm harvesting the last bed. I had to pull some weeds out. Like I said, it got ahead of me here. I pulled these weeds out. But the onions are in here. And uh, they're not buried. I don't bury my onions. They don't need to be buried. They uh, just need to set on top of the soil so their roots can get in there. Here I've got a whole bunch of them. Here, what I'm gonna do is take them over to my uh, dock on my deck and cut the top off and let these air dry outside for uh, a few weeks. So, yeah, this was the five by seven planting uh, stick that I used to, to grow these. And I'm satisfied with that. They might have been bigger if I had spaced them further apart. Here's some smaller ones right there. And uh, they're, they're small, but they're good. And these copras are good keepers. There's the bigger ones over here, but they're all good. They're all good. They grew pretty well. I've, I think I've had bigger and better yields of onions in the mini beds, but I'm satisfied with these. Very satisfied. Okay, that's it folks. I just wanted to show you the, the mini beds with the onions at harvest time. And you can see them right here. We're getting the job done. Winter's coming. Bye-bye.